Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we will be testing out Japanese snacks from Boksu.com. So, they're a subscription service, and I've been wanting to try Japanese snacks for a long time since I've been recently, I've been really into Japanese culture ever since I got into anime. So, I am very excited about this one. I haven't seen what's inside, I don't know what's inside. So, let's check them out right now. All right, so let's see what's inside. You guys will see it before I will. What's inside? Ooh, what is this? Okay, they got the little seasons of Japan stuff. I think it's their culture guide. That's pretty cool. You get a little snacks from every region of Japan. Of course, they got a little thank you card. What is in here? So many things. Okay, so I didn't expect that it would be this many. There's so many snacks that I have to try. I don't think I'll have time for this other box. So for this other box, it will be in another video. Stay tuned for that one. Let's put this to the side for now. All right, let's start tasting some snacks. I'm gonna pick this one first. So it's here in the little booklet what it is. So it's a stick potato supa mucho plum. So it's like potato chips, but plum flavored, basically. So let's try this one first. Mm. Oh, I like these. These taste like potato chips like the normal shoestring picnic ones. But it has a little something. I can't really explain it. Mm, these are good. I like these. Okay, I wanna try the one that I've been waiting for. The mo mochan dango mochi. I'm so sorry if I'm reading everything wrong. That... So pretty. I will try the white one first. Mm. I love these. I love mochi. I love the texture of mochi. These are really good. They're covered in sugar too. So they're kind of sweet, but not too sweet. That was really good. I love those. Mochi. You're awesome. Okay, so the next one on the booklet list is a pear thing cookie, biscuit. Let's try it out. Ooh. Ooh. I like this a lot. The cookie just melts in your mouth. Oh, wow. I'm sad there's only one. I'm gonna save this for later because it's really good. I'm saving that one. Okay, next is something that I was also curious about. I seen it was a white strawberry and they packed it like this. Like there's a strawberry in there. It's a strawberry. So let's try it out. It has a chocolate texture. It's a strawberry, but when you chew it, it's like chocolate. That is really good. I want more of these too. Okay, so we're moving on to somewhat savory snacks. So first I have the edamame senbei. Oh, looks like a cracker with edamame in it. These are actually not bad. I like these too. Okay, the next one is seaweed tempura. Let's open it up. I know I suck at opening chips. Oh yeah, that, that was really bad. Look at that. Seaweed tempura. They are very addictive. Pretty good, pretty good. I like these too. All right, the next snack we have is this little guy. It is the Don Don Yucky. Another savory snack. Let's check it out. 
Oh, these look like little. I don't even know what they look like. Mmm. I just eat rice and this is like a whole meal. I could definitely eat rice with this. It's so savory. Okay, next we have the handmade yuzu sake candy. So I'm assuming this is sake. So this does have alcohol content in it. 0.1% guys, so consume responsibly. It tastes like alcohol. It's alcohol candy. All right, if you guys wanna get litty with some candy, yuzu sake candy. Okay, I just wanna say that this booklet contains everything that you need to know about each and every one of these snacks, which is very helpful, because now I know what I'm eating and where it's from and how they decide to start making these. So, next up is the Hokkaido Red Bean Donuts. So the, these are the ones that look like donut holes. Not really much of a red bean person, so we'll see how this tastes like. It's not sweet. It's not sweet, but yeah, you'll need some coffee or some chocolate milk or something because this thing's dry. I was expecting something sweeter, but they're not bad, but they're not part of my favorite list. Okay, next up is a matcha chocolate stick cake. I'm not really a matcha person, so I might be a little bit biased. I might not like it. I might, maybe, but I'm not really into matcha like that. All right, let's see what matcha is all about. Take a little bit of pee. A little piece. It's really soft and airy and light. It's actually good. And that's coming from someone who doesn't like matcha. Okay, my next one. This one looks pretty cute, but at the same time, I don't like black sesame like that. So I don't really like black sesame, but because it's so cute, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out. If you like nuts and sesame seeds, then you might like this one. I'm not really into any of those, so it's kind of like, not really good for me. All right, so next up we have another cookie. This is the Aomori Apple Caramel Yakui Sable. Mm. This is pretty good. I like this a lot. Okay, so next on the list is some puff snacks. Funwa, funwari? Funwari Meijin Mochi Puffs. Mochi Puffs. I've never had mochi puffs. Mm. Oh, they're so light and airy. Look at that. Mm. It's only a little hint of nutty flavor. I can handle it. Mm, they melt in your mouth real fast. So we do also have green teas, organic genmaicha tea. I'm sorry if I'm not reading it right. So I can't really taste this right now. I don't have any hot water prepared. I did not know this came with like drinks and tea. So I hope these will taste good. I'll leave in the comments below once I've tasted it, if it's good or not. Okay, so this is said to be a fan favorite, that one right there. This is the uni rice cracker, a fan favorite. Let's see why it's a fan favorite. The uni rice cracker. Look at this little sea urchin. I do understand why it's a fan favorite. This is bomb. I'm like wiping the desk off. <laughs> a lot of crumbs going on there. But this is probably on the top of my list too. All right, our last snack of the day or for this box. We do have another box, but that will be for another video because I believe it contains other kinds of snacks as well. So, let's try this one. The Puku Puku Tai. Puku Puku Tai. Does it look like a fish? <gasps> oh my god. It's a fish. It's a Tai. That's what they call it. It's 
Sorry, let me eat your tail first because you're smiling. I don't want to ruin your smile. I'm going to save you for later. Go back in your little tank, little fishy. So that is it you guys, we have tasted all the snacks in this first box. We do have a second box and I'm hoping there are different kinds of snacks in there as well. So yeah, leave in the comments below which snack you think was kind of weird, which snack would you probably, probably like, or which seems the most interesting to you guys. And while you guys are here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next video, it might be that box number two or maybe something else who knows but yes i will see you in the next one bye